Well, good morning, everyone. And uh, I thought I'd do this morning's devotion from our back garden this morning with it being so pleasant, so warm. And um, I just want to start off by um, offering a couple of apologies. One, that this is late. Um, I just turned on my YouTube and waiting for the devotion, saw nothing there and then realised it was me. So I apologise for that. And uh, also for yesterday's devotion, um, Simon Stowe wonderfully did our devotion yesterday, but for some reason it didn't come up in the right order on our channel. So I just want to encourage you, if you couldn't find that or didn't watch it, to go and watch it because it was a real uh, blessing. And um, if you go on the playlist, you'll find it. Um, and that's yesterday's devotion. But uh, this morning, I'll just um, start with a short word of prayer and then uh, just share a, a thought that's on my heart. Lord, we just thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for uh, your word. And we pray that through it, you would speak to us. And Lord, help us to see you in the midst of uh, many things that may want to crowd in and take our attention. We just want to come and quiet our hearts before you this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, well, one thing that's certainly um, uh, on my heart is just that there's so many things going on in the world right now, so many things that can be distracting, so many things that can stir up uh, many emotions and uh, um, kind of uh, upset and anger and fear, uh, all different kinds of things that are going on. And one of the things that um, I was reminded of just in our study in Philippines is is how we ought to conduct ourselves as the church. And, and, and this morning, I just want to remind us of that. You'll have to excuse Max. He likes being with me. Say good morning, Max. There you go. So, um, just, just want to remind you of uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. Um, and I'll just read it to you. It says, Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out, not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm very mindful at the moment of <clears throat> when I watch the news, my emotions being stirred up when I see injustice and, and, and I see different um, uh, reactions to injustice. And, you know, I, I have got to ask myself the question when I'm, when, when I'm allowing things to come into my mind, um, is this stirring up good things in me and if it isn't then I, I need to turn it off uh, I need to turn to the Lord I need to turn to prayer and and I'll often ask myself Lord how how do you want or what do you want me to do in this and and so often as as we see the things that go on around the world those those things that are so big impress upon our minds and hearts and we we think we feel helpless because we think how how can I uh, help or 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 do something in this situation or circumstance and and it can often seem overwhelming um but the lord does not want us to take on the weight of the world uh the lord's called us to uh to where we are today in the f in the unit whether that's a family unit or friendship unit or workplace or wherever it is he's called us to those places and i know sometimes in those places it can seem overwhelming and that's enough uh, for us but as, as we are called to Christ, as we are born again of the Spirit of God, how can we uh, affect those places or impact those places or be effective for Jesus in those places? And, and I really believe in Philippines there we see the answer, which is to esteem others better than ourselves. Not to just think of our own interests, but to think of the interests of others. And uh, the commentator, when I was reading, uh, studying through this and talking it the other week, said, imagine if we, if we did this, we would create an environment, a culture, where nobody would be looked down upon, but everybody would be looked up to. And that's how we ought to be as a church. 
that we would look up to each and every person. We would esteem. That would mean to value, to input, to think about, to, to pray about, to encourage, to lift others up. Yes, we are to think about and look after ourselves, uh, but not to be selfish in our ambitions, but to be humble. And it goes on, you know, that portion we went through it recently, it goes on to teach us or to show us the example of Jesus, the one who humbled himself to the point lower than any other, that God would exalt him to the place higher than any other. Uh, so my encouragement to you today would be uh, to consider that, uh, to esteem others, not to be doing things out of selfish ambition. Uh, of course, we are always to examine ourselves and see if there are any wrong motives in our own lives and hearts and allow the Lord to deal with that by the power of his Holy Spirit. And as Clifford was telling us on Sunday, that we would be uh, sanctified, that ongoing work of sanctification would take place. And one day when the Lord returns, uh, we'll be glorified until that day. He's got to work for us. But may we as a church, you know, the body of, of our community and the church, you know, on a wider scale, if we would just esteem each other, uh, esteem others better than ourselves, if we would lift others up, if we would encourage others and think of others more than ourselves, then we would have an environment that, that the world would look on and would want a part of. So I pray God's blessing on you today and uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we will get back together soon and uh, you know as Cliff encouraged us on, on Sunday continue to pray for us as we seek a way that we would do that but God bless you all